From our KSN2 News Capital Bureau tonight, just released today, around $290 million was paid out in fraudulent unemployment claims just last year. A shocking number coming to light from the state's unemployment office. The number prompting lawmakers now to make some changes to a bill designed to help fix the unemployment system. So KSN2 News Capital Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung has the latest for us tonight. Lawmakers added an amendment to the bill demanding an audit on the state's unemployment office. They say they're trying to get to the bottom of the massive fraud where all that money went. Long call lines. Most I've ever called was 112 times. Payment delays. My savings is out and I can't pay my bills. And fraud are issues the Kansas Department of Labor has been dealing with since the coronavirus pandemic began. We are being hit massively both here in Kansas and across the country. Uh, with in some kind of cases sophisticated national, even international fraud rings. Now state labor officials releasing estimates on how many taxpayer dollars were lost during the pandemic. They say about $290 million in fraudulent claim payments were made last year. Lawmakers in the Kansas House Commerce Committee passed an amendment for a bill they're working on to revamp the state's unemployment system that would provide more oversight to the state's unemployment office. Lawmakers are hoping this will help get Kansans that are missing their money. The Answers they need. Simply that amendment allows the, the council that we're going to create to order an audit on the Department of Labor so we can f figure out how much fraud there was, when they knew about it, what they did about it, and the extent of it. The bill in front of committee right now is also set to kickstart a project to update the computer system for the state's unemployment office. The goal is to get the project completed by 2022. The outdated system is one of the main obstacles the state's Labor Department has faced, limiting their ability to ward off fraud and causing pain payment delays. But lawmakers are hoping this will be a permanent fix. My heart and my concerns lie chiefly with the employees and with everyday Kansans and families who need and deserve our help. Earlier this month, the state's unemployment office deployed new security software to limit fraud. So far, they've stopped nearly 5 million fraudulent login attempts. Right now, lawmakers are still trying to figure out how to get back that $290 million lost in paying out fraudulent claims. At the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.